Hello and welcome everybody. Today we're going to crack a little blaster I found at Walmart of Stadium Club Baseball. Seven packs plus one extra pack. So eight packs, five cards per pack. They have odds and stuff here. I might, maybe I should have shown this after I tore the shrink wrap off. Anyway, you can pause that and have a look. I have to zoom in a little bit see all those things that are incredibly unlikely to pull one in tens of thousands. If you remember, last week I opened up some prestige football, pulled a Trevor Lawrence numbered card. There's a ding on the corner right here. When I was looking at it closely, I was like, oh, sad, ding on the corner. Either way, today we're doing some baseball and we'll see how that goes. We're going to very carefully outline exactly the correct place to tear this blaster open and have a look to see what's inside here. Stadium Club, I remember back in the 90s, Stadium Club always had some great photography, kind of famous for that, glossy, which at the time, you know, was pretty cool. And they've kind of stuck with that. Good old top Stadium Club. So what we have in here. What is this? That's interesting. Master photo. Pitch that box. Look at this. What is this? Is this a sticker or something? Hank Aaron Stadium Club. This is amazing. I love this. I love Hank Aaron. Wow, look at that. All right, all right, enough of that. That's amazing. Hank Aaron, we're going to put you right here, keep you in shot all the whole. Hank Aaron was somebody that I saw all the time. My childhood in packs and stuff. So many tributes to Hank Aaron. Have a look at this, all right. Best way to open these. Uh-oh, I want to be gentle on that corner. Every pack, every company, their packs open differently. All right, let's flip through here. All right, we're looking for Maybe some rookies, maybe if we get really, really lucky, an insert or two. Let's make sure this knife is out of the way. We don't want any sharp metal objects around here. Here's Snell. This is a red. Is that Christian Yelich from the cover? Oh, here, let's just flip these over. And they're going to mark the rookie. Yeah, here we go, rookie. I'm excited about Nick madrigal hair. I'm actually going to sleeve this. Here's another crystal. All right, I'm going to sleeve this here. I like rookies. It's hard to tell, you know, how good, you know, obviously that's why rookies are so valuable in baseball is it's hard to tell how somebody's career is going to turn out. But that, Nick has some promise here. So definitely sleeve him up. Should I put him in hits pile? Why not? What else am I going to put in that pile? That Awesome rookies, base cards. It's gonna be like, have you seen like the PSA counts for some base cards? They're like tens of thousands. 20,000, 20, PSA 10, base Zion, whatever, you know. Polos, I used to collect Polos. I guess I still do because I have tons of it. So it's always good to see. I look at these photos, you know. It's like, you can tell he just hit something somewhere and it's going up. It's like, is that gonna leave the stadium or is that just gonna? Linger up there. Jesus. Um, wait a second. Is he one of the new... No, I'm thinking of Jesus Sanchez. All right. It's so interesting, these photos. Here we go. Here's a rookie, Luis Garcia. Again, it's impossible to tell, you know, exactly where people's careers are going. Should we sleeve all the rookies? We'll, we'll pass on that one. All right.
There's another rookie. Again, I'm not familiar with him. Heem? Sounds like uh, somebody that works on blood. This looks like an insert. The corners here are super frayed. Can you see that? It's weird. Oh, it's Vlad. Yeah, all right. Well, superstar. Yeah, well, there you go. If this edge weren't so shoddy, I'd be maybe a little bit more excited about that. This is a good pitcher. I recognize this name. James Caprillion. Something like that. Let's get this one sleeved up. Yeah, here's another rookie. Colorado? I'm not familiar. We'll see, I, I need to watch more baseball. I just don't have the time, you know what I mean? There's so much baseball going on. It's a full-time job to watch, watch all the baseball going on these days. Look at these photos. I love these photos. It's just great. See, somebody, somebody was complaining about baseball earlier this year. I forget who it was. Some celebrity, you know how they are, you know, on social media. Baseball's boring. I think it was next baseball player. Baseball's boring. What are you talking about? Have you watched baseball? It's fun. Christian... Now, this is somebody that I'm excited about. I'm gonna sleeve this one. This is just a base. I know, calm down every, oh, Nolan Ryan. I love Nolan Ryan. This is like classic. This is like the ones that I'm, here, let's, here, let's one thing at a time. Let's leave this Christian up here real quick. Here, that's not gonna work. I'm trying to take good care of these cards here. Seriously, it's not fitting in this. Everything I want to, okay. I keep playing with my knife off screen here, so I'm gonna, Cut this little penny sleeve off screen. I keep trying to push it further and further away from me. Just because I like a player, all right? I know, you know. The Braves, I lived in Atlanta. I like, oh, oh, oh my gosh, there's so much drawing. All right, injuries and stuff. All right, okay, we need to stay focused on what we're doing here. Nolan Ryan, this is an awesome card. I'm tempted to sleeve this up just because it's retro. Man, look at that. Nolan Ryan. All right, we're not gonna, we, can, we need to slow, Dave Winfield, another classic vet. Spencer Howard here. Bergman and Winfield. Yeah, look at that classic photo. Gosh, these are great. Stadium Club, throwing in some nostalgia in here. I think I have Top Stadium Club that looks just like that. Nolan Ryan. All right, see, I keep playing with this. It's like my good luck, I keep rubbing it. It's like, I think we already have a Zach. You know, you just, you know how like you like rub things to like, for like, for like good luck. It's my, it's my lucky bench made butterfly right here. Mel party. All right, Jesus Sanchez, no way. Jesus Sanchez, ladies and gentlemen, Jesus is in the house. Jesus. Every, introducing everybody, the world to Jesus's rookie card. It's a red parallel too. I'm excited about this one. Jesus is really good. I'm excited. All right, here. Let's see if we can sleeve this one up without digging that corner up too bad. It's a base card. I'm not terribly worried about it. That's awesome. No, it's not base. It's a parallel. Not numbered or anything, but still pretty cool. Worth 50 cents. Now, could be could be if he's a superstar and all stars out for the next 15 years and becomes one of the most influential baseball players ever that card right there will be worth five bucks i'm a, like i said I, I joke about it but i tell people all the time i'm a collector not an investor i don't i'm not going to sell these and I'm, I'm not somebody who throws base cards away either they're fun it's cool i like them that's why i also don't go crazy buying too many cards there is such a thing as too many. When you start complaining about your house being too small, you might want to stop collecting base cards. Ryan Brown. Kirby Puckett. I remember watching Kirby Puckett play in the World Series. That's a really interesting 
kind of a sepia. No, it's more of a black and white. I don't know. That's a weird. It's cool though. Kirby, another Nolan Ryan. Look at these photos. Look how awesome that is. I love those. Sh I love those shots where it's not just like. Here's a headshot of your favorite players, Reggie Jackson. Look at all these awesome nostalgic like photos and stuff. Pretty awesome. I imagine it gets old though. Baseball has always kind of been nostalgic, even when I was a kid. You know, it's like you're a kid and the Sandlot comes out, and you're like, "Wow, it's been nostalgic for a good old long while here." All right, let's see. Andres Jimenez. Interesting rookie here. Let's get this off the screen again. Keep playing with that. Ooh, shiny. Chris Bryant. Look at these awesome, like, foil. They're not, like, refractors. They're just, like, a foil hologram. Oh, this one's numbered. Oh, snap. Chris Bryant of the Chicago Cubs right here. We're going to... All right, fine. We'll sleeve you up. 17 out of 25. That's a cool card. Foily. It's foily. You know what? With a foil, foils can be really sensitive. I'm going to actually get a thick sleeve. See, this is what I use. This is what I have. Thick card. I'm going to take one of these. And I think I can get a thin card into here without needing to cut it. Here, let's, there's some pack dust right here. Let's see if we can gently get that off. All right. Thick card sleeve should just slide right in. Easy. Chris Bryant, all right, awesome. All right, we are good. Let's see what else we have here. David Wright, awesome. Raphael Devers, awesome. That's an awesome card. Gosh, I can't sleep. These are just based. That's an awesome card, though. Stay on the floor. All right, last pack. I have no idea. It's, it, you know, like I said, I I watch baseball, but not tons of it. If it's on the other day, I was watching it, and my son comes up and he's like, "Oh, he wanted to watch like Disney Plus," and he's like, <laughs> "You're watching sports." Yep, because it's fun. I like it. Not that familiar with Mitch White, L.A. I see a World Series ring. Oh, it's a rookie, yeah. So. Corey Seager. Virtual reality. What is this? They're like some code or something? Is it like an... What are they called? NFT? Non-fungible? Is it NFT? Yeah, I think they're NFTs. I haven't bought... If you guys haven't guessed, I haven't bought any NFTs or anything. Totally just dropped that. Cool. Drew Rasmussen? Let me think. Drew Rasmussen. Freddie Freeman? And Eric Hosmer. So yeah, so I can't, so it's hard for me. So if I hold this to the camera, I can see it in the viewfinder, but I can't read the name. And because of the reflection, it's kind of dark, so it blends in with, so I have to hold it at this angle to be able to see the glare, the, what, the light glare off of it so I can read from my angle. So when you see me do this, it's just because I'm trying to read the names. All right, well, that was pretty fun. I mean, Stadium Club always has good photos and nostalgia, borderless photos, which, you know, back in the 90s and stuff, it was amazing when we went from the 80s bordered cards to these borderless, like, amazing photos. So I really like this. Chris Bryant, Chicago right here. I'm trying to remember, does he have a World Series ring? Jesus Sanchez, I'm excited about Jesus. Some awesome rookies. I like it that it's a red parallel. Christian Pache. Is it Pache or Pash? I'm not really sure. Pache. Pache. James Caprillian. Yeah, that's right. And Nick Madrigal. I'm sure I said somebody's name wrong. Either way, I'm excited about the rookies and this fun, <laughs> this fun numbered card. All right. Well, that is Top Stadium Club. Hank Aaron here. Fun. It's just fun to crack these blasters. All right, let me know your thoughts about this product. Is it worth getting a hobby box? Have you guys opened some of this? And what do you think of the set? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.